there are three pathways for degradation of eukaryotic cytoplasmic mRNAs. The first one is decapping pathway. This pathway is deadenylation independent. Now let us see in this pathway what happens to an mRNA having a 5 prime end and a 3 prime end. The 5 prime end of the mRNA has a cap. The decapping enzyme then binds to the 5 prime cap of the mRNA. The decapping enzyme then causes the 5 prime cap removal. The enzyme called as 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease then rapidly hydrolyzes the decapped mRNA. The second pathway for eukaryotic mRNA degradation is the deadenylation dependent pathways. Most of the cytoplasmic mRNAs in eukaryotes are degraded by this pathway. Now let us see in this pathway what happens to an mRNA. The 3' end of the mRNA has a poly A tail. The enzyme called as deadenylase or deadenylating nucleus progressively shorten the poly A tail until it reaches a length of 20 or fewer adenine residues. Due to this poly A tail shortening, the bound PABP1 are removed. This PABP1 removal causes the weakening of interactions between 5' cap and translation initiation factors. The deadenylated mRNA has a 5' end. The decapping enzyme then binds to the 5' cap. The decapping enzyme then removes the 5' cap. In Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the decapping enzyme is DCP1 or DCP2. The 5' to 3' exonuclease then degrade the decapped and deadenylated mRNA. The 5' to 3' exonuclease in Saccharomyces cerevisiae is XRN1. In the deadenylation dependent pathways, the deadenylated mRNA is also exposed to cytoplasmic exosome. The exosome contains 3' to 5' exonucleases. The exosome containing 3' to 5' exonucleases then degrade the deadenylated mRNA. The deadenylation of an mRNA was described in this video. The yeast contains the 5' to 3' exonucleases predominantly. The mammalian cells contains the 3' to 5' exosome predominantly. The pea bodies contains the decapping enzymes and 5' to 3' exonuclease. The third pathway for mRNA degradation in eukaryotic cell is endonucleolytic pathway. One example of this type of pathway is the RNAi pathway. In this pathway, each siRNA RISC complex binds to the target mRNA and causes an endonucleolytic cleavage. Due to this endonucleolytic cleavage, the mRNA fragment is formed. The mRNA fragment is then exposed to cytoplasmic exosomes. The exosome contains 3' to 5' exonucleases. The exosome containing 3' to 5' exonucleases then degrade the mRNA fragment. Please like, subscribe and share.